is Brighton nil, Manchester United nil, but Manchester United advancing through to the finals of the FA Cup, baby, on penalties, of course. Manchester United are through. Us Manchester United fans are happy right now because we thought we was going to get knocked the fuck out of the FA Cup after the humiliating defeat against Sevilla this Thursday. We was thinking, nah, nah, this bum ass team is going to take the same energy towards Brighton and them man, Brighton Munich, who has been so strong this season. And rightly so, because in that whole match, Brighton was dominating the whole entire game. But Manchester United are through. Like I said before, this is about Manchester United showing the world that we are getting ourselves back to where we need to be. This is our second final under Eric Ten Hag. We're about to play the Manchester Derby for the first time in the FA Cup final. It's been brilliant. The first 45 minutes, as I said before, guys, we were so damn poor. Manchester United, Brighton went all over us. Brighton and them men was just all over us. It's like it was a Brighton Beach. You know how Brighton beat? They love the man up in there, bro. Man love men in Brighton, bro. I mean, were all over us at that time. Manchester United able to create chances, but we looked better towards the end of the first half when it was dying down. Manchester United then came up into the game. In the second half, of course, Manchester United as well was the same thing. Brian just dominated possession, quality chances, but Manchester United did grow into the game towards the second half as well and then extra time match night continued to grow into the game guys it was uh, we were just thinking no oh, this 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 is not looking good if we go extra time and we go to penalties we're gonna lose bro because david De Gea is, you know how david De Gea is. nobody's got the confidence that david De Gea will save a penalty thank god that we didn't have to hope on him saving the penalty because that wasn't the case because in the extra time jen brighton was doing their thing Causing a lot of trouble. Second half as well in the extra time. Manchester United tried to come back. We had opportunities. But Bruno Fernandes and that man and couldn't do anything. Rashford. But David De Gea saving opportunities. But it went to penalties. And Manchester United winning 7-6 on penalties. It had to be Solly March who stepped up. And I was thinking, Solly March, you're about to be marching off with your, your, your marching boots. And guess what? The guy missed. He skied it. And I believe it's still up there somewhere in the sky. You know. And of course, I snap Victor Lindelof stepped up and scored a banger. And of course, sending us through to the finals, mate. Me, oh, I'm so excited because I thought we were going to lose. You guys thought we were going to lose. A lot of Manchester United fans thought, no, what? Brian's going to do a thing. And that's what it means. It means a lot to us that we overcome this. We've got Tottenham next week, Thursday. But again, we're happy about that. Bruno Fernandes, in terms of players, a lot of players didn't play to their absolute best, including Bruno Fernandes, Rashford, Martial, you know. But God, thank God, damn, God bless David here for performance today. The defence did well as well. The makeshift defence, Luke Shaw was just strong and absolutely immense as well at times, man. Oh, what a game, guys. You know what? You know, I feel sorry for Brighton. You know, they're upset. They've done really well. You probably, you probably say they don't deserve to lose, but hey, we deserve to go through. We deserve to get to where we are. It is what it is. I'm so happy, guys. Anyway, this has been your match reaction, guys, from your boy Ivorian Spice. Let me know what your thoughts on today's game. Let me know who your man the match is. Let me know who your donkey of the match is as well. As always, guys, we're back tomorrow live 8 p.m. to discuss the match on Ready Night TV YouTube channel, of course. 8 p.m. UK then for the catch up volume 91. And I've always remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it ready now. Because your boy is out and we are through to the finals, baby. K Sarah, say raw. Whatever will be, will be. We'll go into Wembley. K Sarah, say raw.